To learn more about earning college credits with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click the link in the description. One plus one equals two. Nothing could be simpler, right? Well, in the book Principia Mathematica, it took Alfred North Whitehead and Bertrand Russell 362 pages to confirm that, indeed, one and one do make two. The actual goal wasn't proving grade school math. They were exploring the rich complexity of ideas hiding behind the simple quantities we use to describe the world. Because math goes well beyond just numbers. All around us are patterns involving shapes, relationships, processes, and events driven by intricate logic. Math is the tool we use to unpack that logic. From finding the reason you can't cross the seven bridges of Konigsberg just once, to understanding why it's impossible for all seven people at a party to have exactly three other friends at Attending. Math also reveals why the bridges and friendships in these different situations are actually the same thing, and how that helps us solve many other problems. In math, the underlying logic of patterns inhabits a world of its own, regardless of how it relates to the real world. But once we're familiar with it, the same math helps tackle all kinds of practical problems, from programming computers to optimizing supply chains. Hi, I'm Sabrina Cruz, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series that explores different college majors. Let's dive into mathematics degrees. Studying math is about understanding patterns, quantifying relationships, and reaching logical conclusions. The tools of math help us understand the world around us, just as observing the world has helped us invent math concepts. And sure, that includes things like fractions and geometry, but also much, much more. Over centuries, mathematicians have discovered and invented all kinds of techniques, ideas, and connections between patterns, both abstract and real, which we continue to use. The parts of math focused on abstract theoretical concepts, which help prove theorems and discover new concepts are called pure math. When you use those concepts or tailor them for specific areas like statistics, engineering, computer science, or physics, it's called applied math. The tools of math find uses virtually everywhere, creating links between seemingly different problems. Take the relationship between crossing bridges and friends at parties. Both are rooted in graph theory. And pure math generates fields of applied math, like ideas in number theory eventually finding applications in cryptography. Both pure and applied math involve much more than specific theorems and equations. Studying math is also about cultivating the general skill of logical thinking, identifying and articulating problems, and creatively solving them. A math degree gives you the opportunity to pick up the core tools and concepts of math and hone your skills in using them for practical situations. And because math transfers well to other areas and real-world situations, your analytical and problem-solving skills will likely be in demand by a ton of employers. Better still, math has a future-proof quality to it, since it's always likely to find applications. We're still using the same geometrical concepts as the Babylonians 4,000 years later. Finance, engineering, technology, and science all rely on math, and mathematicians have made strategic leaps into all of these areas and more over the years. In fact, beyond pure and applied math, you might want to specialize in mathematical finance or a mathematics and physics program, since a math degree works so well in combination with other disciplines. Regardless, a majority of math degrees involve studying some core topics, which become the building blocks that support whatever mathematical career you choose to build. Pretty much all math majors study calculus to understand the mathematics of change and how functions describe the world around us. That ties in with another common course, analysis, which studies the properties of mathematical functions. Calculus and analysis lay the foundation for courses in differential equations, a part of calculus, along with complex variables, the fascinating world of imaginary numbers and functions that use them. Differential equations and complex variables are widely used in science and engineering. You'll also probably study some algebra, which looks at variables and equation solving in different contexts. There's linear algebra, which is all about solving linear equations that describe lines and using vectors and matrices to describe them. Linear algebra comes up in physics, economics, and engineering, and also comes in handy in geometry. There's also abstract algebra, which explores mathematical structures like sets and groups, which gives math a kind of language for rigorously constructing new concepts. These might form a whole new college course on their own or appear in other courses. As well as those core topics, a lot of math degrees require some experience 
exposure to courses in computer programming, which math plays a huge role in. You might also study some of the most common applied math topics like probability and statistics. With the essentials under your belt, there's a whole wide world of math electives you might choose to explore. You might want to lose yourself in the patterns and primes of number theory, or get tangled in the brain-bending concepts of topology. However, it's important to know that lots of math electives rely on having taken very specific courses beforehand. You probably can't study multivariable calculus without having done regular calculus first, so it's good to be aware of the requirements in advance. We're only scratching the surface of the potential courses a math major could take. And as we mentioned, math majors may take courses in other departments, like learning design and algorithm specifics in computer science courses, or getting hands-on and experimental with some physics electives. Math degrees, which incorporate different elements like these, allow you to follow specific interests and prepare for the unique needs of whichever fields you might hope to enter, while developing some core mathematical competence. A bit of mathematical know-how is arguably a great thing no matter who you are or what you're planning. Numbers and patterns play a huge role in the world around us, so being comfortable with them helps us get a grip on new circumstances and tackle problems. That said, there are some indications a math degree would especially suit you. While it's not the be-all and end-all, if you enjoyed math classes in high school and performed well in them, even at higher level and advanced courses, it's a sign you might flourish in a math degree. But college math is also very different in many ways. A math major could be an option for you if you like solving mysteries and puzzles, especially the kind that involve detailed and logically rigorous arguments. In general, critical thinking, a penchant for analogies, and an enjoyment of explaining concepts all hint you might harbor a mathematical mind and feel comfortable with abstraction. As well as the analytical side, the creative and descriptive elements of math are why Einstein called it the poetry of logical ideas. Or maybe you want to deeply and quantitatively understand complex systems, like weather patterns or biological ecosystems. An attraction to uncovering patterns in nature or data to understand what makes the world tick all point towards a math or science major. But if you find more joy in jumping straight to answers by computing them, hate overanalyzing things, and switch off at the thought of diving into the specifics of why something works and all its little intricacies, math might not be the best fit. It's also important to know that it's normal for math majors to find that things are a little harder than expected coming from high school. Given that math degrees explore topics like calculus and algebra in even more depth, math majors can find their curriculum pretty challenging. Math majors in particular are prone to feeling anxious during their studies about how they're doing, and a lot of people decide to switch out to other majors, which might be a smart move. Finance, computer science, engineering, and science are all paths that build on the same kind of skills. But even in other STEM subjects, grappling with particular math topics might be a bit of a challenge. Students might be surprised that there's a lot more abstraction beyond the number crunching and formulas familiar in school. Like other STEM fields, math can be a difficult environment for underrepresented groups. That doesn't mean we can't do the work, but it can be hard to be the only one who looks like you in the room. And it's okay to feel like you're struggling or seek out support. Getting through a math degree means developing a solid sense of self-motivation. It involves consistently applying an organized, logical, and creative approach to the problems you encounter with dedication and persistence. But the reward for your efforts is becoming way better at applying those skills. All that practice applying critical and analytical thinking, problem solving, quantitative reasoning, and clear logical expression means that a math degree leaves you with plenty of options. If your math desires aren't satisfied after a bachelor's, you can consider a master's degree to explore new areas of mathematics or specialize in an applied topic like data science, which might also give you a competitive edge in the job market. Or if math research really appeals to you, a doctoral program offers opportunities to forge new paths into unexplored regions of math. But most math majors head into careers in a whole variety of fields. And now talking about salaries is hard because so much can change year to year or depending on what location you're in. But as of 2022, math majors joining the workforce can expect an annual salary of about $63,000 in the US. Admittedly, mathematician isn't a widely used job title. The kinds of people doing math full time are likely to be employed at a university where they usually call themselves academics or professors, earning on average around 60 to $87,000 
$1,000, depending on the role and career stage. But other math majors still use plenty of math in their jobs. One role is statistician, for which in 2021, the median wage was over $95,000. Statisticians are often found in research institutions, government, insurance, healthcare, and even in universities, crunching data to provide insights and drive decisions. A closely related option is actuary, a role that involves calculating the probability of different kinds of events happening in the future, particularly in the insurance industry, where the average salary is around $88,000. A popular route from math is into teaching in K-12 schools as a math educator, where you can expect to make just over $50,000. Or you might be attracted to software and tech jobs, where math majors turn software developers and data scientists earn, on average, over $100,000. And there are also positions in government where you might apply mathematical modeling, research, and statistical investigation, earning $110,000. So while there's no doubt that earning a math degree is a challenge, if math intrigues you and excites you and you have the persistence to see it through, a degree can equip you with a lot of skills to navigate lots of potential paths. As well as the aesthetic joy that many math majors get while studying their courses, math opens up doors to support a whole range of careers and even navigate the quantitative challenges we encounter in daily life. If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, check out our other videos in this playlist. To find out how to earn college credits with Study Hall, go to gostudyhall.com or click on the link here or in the description. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like and comment to let us know how you chose your degree or what you wish you'd known before you started your degree. Thanks for watching.